how to enable Google Signals and uh, what you should expect when you use Google Signals. I will show you how to turn this on, but I will also tell you about a problem that might appear once you have Google Signals enabled on your website, especially for pages with little traffic or for websites with little traffic. Uh, now, I'm here in uh, settings, Google Analytics settings, data collection, get started. Google Signals basically merges data that you send to Google with uh, data that they have about users. If the user is logged in in a Google account and if the users, if the user gave permission for this data to be used by Google. So not all your users will uh, be tracked with uh, Google Signals. Now, get started. Continue. Activate. And it's on. The thing is that if a page has a very little traffic, or if a website has a very little traffic, Google will not show you any data for that page or it will show you very little data for that page. The, the idea is to uh, keep the privacy of the user um, saved because if you have very little traffic, you might be able to understand who's that uh, visitor with that characteristic that Google shares with you. So uh, there's some throttling and um, it doesn't really work well for websites with uh, small amount of traffic. You also have this uh, option to include Google signals in reporting identity. Uh, I think if you turn this off, reports might turn back to the way they were before. Not sure, I didn't test it to be honest, but uh, if you have this problem with uh, no data or very, very little data uh, visible after turning on signals, maybe you can try to disable this one.